the unfortunate and untimely demise of George Raymond Stevenson, better known among fans as Ray Stevenson, left millions of fans shocked by his passing. Ray has worked on several films and series in his illustrious career and this video is a tribute to some of his best performances in the movies. In this video, I'll only talk about his leading or prominent roles and not include his minor supporting roles. You disrespect me, boy. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like and share button. In this 2004 fictional adaptation based on The Legend of King Arthur, directed by Antoine Fuqua, Ray Stevenson plays Dagony in Night of the Round Table. Ray is not the leading man in this movie, but he plays a crucial role that helped him establish himself as an actor and get more notable parts in the subsequent years of his career. There are moments in this movie where Ray portrays a strong and invincible character while on other occasions, he plays an emotional, self-sacrificing and compassionate knight. King Arthur is not the best movie about the legendary character, but it is an entertaining film. And if you haven't seen it yet, now would be a good time to watch it in honor of Ray Stevenson. Outpost was the first leading role for Ray Stevenson, who plays the character of an ex-royal marine, turned mercenary hired by a mysterious businessman to investigate a creepy abandoned bunker. This 2008 Scottish production zombie horror has a lot of suspense and mystery, and it is not just about killing brain-dead Nazis. Ray plays the perfect leading man in the survival military horror, which takes some inspiration from video games and Andrei Tarkovsky's Stalker. If you want to watch Ray Stevenson in his first leading role killing a bunch of Nazi zombies, I highly recommend Outpost. It is slow in the first half, but the second half has plenty of good action and violence. Punisher Warzone is a mispricing Punisher movie starring a badass Ray Stevenson playing Marvel's flagship anti-hero. If you compare Punisher Warzone with the previous Punisher movies, it is way more violent, even more than Netflix's adaptation of the character. Ray Stevenson trained with the Marines for months to play the Punisher and you can see it especially during the action scenes. He has less dialogues in this movie and kills more bad guys. Punisher Warzone is not the best Marvel movie, however, if you compare it with all the mediocre films and series produced by Marvel these days, it is an underappreciated movie and misunderstood too. It is also the only Punisher project directed by a female director, Lexi Alexander. In the later year, Ray Stevenson played another Marvel character, a minor supporting role, Waldstein, in the Thor franchise. Thank you Ray Stevenson for giving us one of the best Punisher on screen. Fuck's Kill the Irishman is my favorite movie starring Ray Stevenson in the leading role. Ray plays the character of notorious Irish gangster Danny Green, who went to war with the Italian Mafia during the 60s and the 70s. Ray outshines everyone in this ensemble cast which is Vincent D'Onofrio, Christopher Walken and Val Kilmer in supporting roles. Kill the Irishman may not be a classic in the history of gangster films, but Ray Stevenson delivers one of the best acting performances of his career and it is worth watching from start to finish. If you haven't seen it yet, do yourself a favor and watch it. Kill the Irishman is also Ray Stevenson's final film in a leading role. Is that all you got? It's gonna take more than a few firecrackers to kill Danny Green! So what is your favorite film starring Ray Stevenson? You will recommend others to watch? Please mention in the comments section and thank you so much for watching this video. Rest in peace Ray Stevenson and thank you for all the memories. Oh god, now I've got brain splattered all over me.